Welcome back. Let's jump right in. So, I'm gonna stop trying to freaking kill everything here because it's just ending up with me dying. I don't need to kill everything here anyway. It's easy to just run past them all. All they do is spawn the mini ones, and there's nothing in this area that I need currently that I'm not gonna come back for later on. Trust me, it's not worth the hassle, essentially. There is nothing over here. One thing you do have to be cautious of is those guys, though. Frenzy Cold Blood, very nice. So if you're standing too far out in the open, they will just throw rocks at you. You probably remember them from the other nightmare. Oh, I didn't realize you guys followed me all the way up here. Ow. So Silver Beasts are going to be more of a problem than I thought. But it should be fine. So I think all I need to do is kill them. All I should need to do is kill them and then I can just leave them alone. Because the tiny beasts they spawn are not fast enough to catch me on the road. Yeah, I'm not going to switch to pull the good version and we try to. There we go. Now we'll leave you alone. We'll run over here. Okay, now we run away, because they won't be able to get us. Uh, so that's much easier, I just need to kill them first. The reason I was skeptical is because of the damage I do. Typically you'd have a weapon that can not one-shot them or anything like that, but deal with them far easier than my weapon currently can. I say currently can, it's not going to get much better than this. Like, the Blood Rock will of course increase its damage like normal, but honestly, the thing that's going to do the most help, I'd say, for this thing at this point in the game is just going to be Blood Gems, which I'm going to need to find some uh, chalices for. But that's not anything we need to concern ourselves with currently, since we're more than strong enough to deal with this area without um, increased damage. Well, I say more than strong enough. It does take a full stamina bar to deal with one of these guys, in fact, more than just a full stamina bar. But that's fine. These things aren't built for power after all. I'm not expecting them to one shot enemies like these, which are essentially not giants, but they are one of the larger enemies, or larger common enemies in the game. That you obviously can't include Amygdala as a common enemy. You fight it as a boss twice. Then again, you fight loads of bosses twice, especially in Chalice Dungeons, they reuse a lot of bosses in them. I will say there are certain Chalice Dungeon bosses that are top tier that aren't in the main game. Um, the Thumerian Descendant, Thumerian Elder and Thumerian Queen are all unique bosses. And the, well I say unique, Thumerian Elder and Thumerian Descendant do start appearing themselves. But Thumerian Queen is definitely unique. Granted after you've been through all of the Chalices you will be pretty over leveled. Because you'll far, uh, get some really good uh, blood gems, but honestly nothing to really concern yourself with. Overpowering the queen is fine. Shut up with that damn bell. <sighs> okay, I can kill them in four hits. I really wish it was three, but hey, we do what we can. Alright, bad men's knowledge. Come on then, you two. Ow. No, no, no. Bad, bad, bad. Alright. No, not you. Oh yeah, I can't even use that anymore since <laughs> I can't upgrade um, well, put anything on my weapon. What? Oh, wait.
But can I use it on just the... No, I can't use it on just the one. Good to know. Uh, giant spider, giant spider, giant spider, giant spider, giant spider. Ah! Okay. No, 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 no. Crap. Now one of the spiders in there has my blood, um, uh, my blood echoes. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. The old labyrinth was caused at, carved out by the Thumerians. I mean, it makes sense. They are everywhere down there. So I'm going to get rid of you. How the hell do I get rid of you? There we go. And on you, we can put... What do we want to put there? You. Yeah, that works. So I've already taken care of everything out here, so I don't need anything out in the open anymore. Oh, I'd say that, but we will come back here later on. Just like the side area, because there's a shortcut later on. But I don't think it's needed that much, especially since we can just get other lamp lamps, so... It'll be fine. I think there may be something over here. There is. For some reason, I remember even a cold wood or... Yeah, no, it was a material. Makes sense. I should have guessed that. You're supposed to, like, stock up on the final ones you need before you get the blood rock. So it makes sense. They don't expect you... Ah, oh, you have my stuff. Why does it have to be the big one? Nope. <laughs> yeah. So the reason we shot him there without any upgrades, and the reason we're not dropping down there is because once you hit the big one, all of the others will start um, dropping down, and they should do anyway. Oh, crap. I thought I had my gun equipped. I thought I had my gun equipped. Oh, I don't want to go deal with that. Good, 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 good. If I start getting the smaller ones in here, then I can start picking them off. I'll be right back once all that room is dead. Well, I hope anyone with arachnophobia didn't uh, uh, is, they didn't know about it. Well, I hope they knew about that room so they needed to avoid watching that part of the video. I don't have arachnophobia, but God, I don't like spiders. Come on then. Really? There we go, jeez. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Sorry about that cut. It's freaking hot. Well, so I was in the middle of this fight. Avoid the mist. Stop it with the mist! Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> that was... Oh, he had look at Ludwig's blade. Why didn't he use it properly? Like, sure, the uh, short sword's fine, but... The reason you use that weapon is for the giant sword. You don't use it for the small one. God, these mannequins are creepy. But it's fine. There we go. I knew you were somewhere. I have a trap. What do you mean? Yellow backbone. Ah, uh, do you mean freaking the chalices? Have traps in them in that one. Good to know, I suppose. You drop anything? You do. You drop blood gems. 
good to know, even though you don't drop good blood gems, at least for me. Yeah, just kill these things off. Very creepy. Reminds me of uh, the film Megan that came out recently. I need to see that. Not too big on horror movies myself. But I have a slight problem of I adore horror movie stories. I think I've explained this during my Resident Evil playthrough. It's either 7 or 8, I've probably explained it. But I adore the uh, stories of horror movies. Like the whole occult stuff, or supernatural, or freaking werewolves, or zombies, or whatever it is. I adore that kind of stuff. Problem is, I don't like being jump scared. Thank you. I think, yeah, I need to go on the other side as well. So I don't think Nightmare Mensis will take long by itself. It's a pretty short area from what I'm recalling. It is pretty intricate, but saying it's intricate doesn't really mean much at this point. Just means I have to do quite a bit of backtracking once we get to certain parts of the, uh, this area. In fact, now I think about it, we have to do quite a bit of backtracking. That's mostly what this area's layout comes down to, actually. Like, you don't have to if you're just going for, like, the story, but if you want to get everything and all the good stuff, then backtracking is definitely what you need to do. And since I need to get all the good stuff, I'm going to be doing it quite a bit. Now, watch out for those. If I didn't have such high stun, they would destroy me. Like, the, the those ladies, those women, terrifying. Way more terrifying than, than like, the child version-ish people. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anything. It's hard to remember this area exactly because it's, like, so dark. What am I doing? I have this. Doesn't help much, but <laughs> helps a bit. So once I get through this game behind you, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Let's see, these are spider eggs, aren't they? Well, no, these are eyes. Oh, even better, they are eyes. Eyes with legs. Yep, no, that's definitely an eye. Uh, it's fine. Oh no. Oh no. The mother is... What the hell am I being attacked? Oh, she's throwing knives at me. Oh, no, she's firing crossbow bolts. Not knives. They have a crossbow in their hands. Alright, alright. I should be able to, with a full stamina bar, just burst her down like I did before. Oh, the beauty of these weapons. <laughs> I adore them. The problem is they are just so weak. If you only can get a couple hits in, you need to be able to build up hits in order to maximise this weapon, essentially. Alright, so this, we should be coming up to why the dogs sound like crows and why the crows sound like dogs. Oh, yep, no, here we go. Crows with dog heads. I don't know what this means, like, in the game wise. Like, the ones on the outside, just illusions. These are the real animals. What does it mean exactly? Ah, there you are. Now then, there is a strong enemy down here, I'm pretty sure. No, it's just the dogs, but then again, they are pretty strong, I don't like them. Thank you, thank you. Oh no, oh no. Alright, so, like I said before, it's not very long, this area, but it is rather intricate. 
and we are about to access a few areas that I need to go to. Uh, ah, crap. Okay, what is, what is the best way to do? I'm pretty sure you need to jump. You can't just roll into there. Nope. Oh, no. Oi, get out. Oh, no. I, I think I did just jump there. Well, I say dash. I dashed there. Dash forward. That was... Okay, a bit surprised. Now then, head down here. You probably recognise that bridge. Okay, so it's not this one. And that's a shortcut for later. Should be a lamp. Yes. <laughs> Alright, awesome. Lamps all done. Let's get going. Now then, we're coming up to the boss of this area. Well, the first boss of this area. Mensis. Mensis is an annoying little... Mm. God, do I hate Mensis. Everyone hates Mensis. It's fine to hate Mensis. It's natural. It's what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to like him. He's awful. That being said... It's not to say he's too hard. He has a few moves that are annoying, sure. Difficult? Depends how you play. It's more of a skill issue, honestly. Like, I know that's mostly a joke from for some people, but it is mostly a skill issue. Some say cosm. Do you hear our prayers? I already killed Cos. Oh no, I killed Rom. You shall not abandon the dream. No one can catch us. No one can stop us now. God damn, Mensis, where the hell is he? You need to chase him, essentially, into a room so you can feed him off, because otherwise he will just keep running from you. You need to chase him into a room where he will actually fight. The way to do it is simple. He runs in the kind of opposite direction. The hell? Well, he's supposed to run in the opposite direction, so he's supposed to run up the stairs. Yeah, he does spells, by the way. Avoid those. Luckily, he doesn't have access to his big ones yet. He has to go into his uh, whole second phase-ish area first. But watch out, that can counter you. Like, he could have reposted me there. That would have been awful. Alright, hope those taken care of. Yeah, just get him into a corner and abuse him, essentially. Ow! Don't even think about it. Yeah, so much you get to a certain health about, I think it's 50% exactly. He just runs oh. off. <laughs> oh, majestic! Hunter is a hunter even in a dream. A hunter but is a hunter even in a dream. Too fast. Nightmares worlds and chains. Yes, 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 Mantis. I know. Come on, you two. I don't want you down there. I want to deal with them alone. Thank you. Deal with you two first, and then deal with this one. Where is she? <laughs> Shut up. Come on, big mama. Let's get you away from those children. Don't want them firing freaking crossbows at me while I'm trying to beat you down. Shut up, Mensis. Stop 
freaking groaning up there. I'll get to you in a moment. Moon rune. I forget what the moon rune does. Require more blood echoes. Nice. Okay. I think that's the highest level one you can get for that as well. Hence why it's all like really detailed. It's like really blooded up. Alright. So I'm going to show you a trick that should help you beat him. Avoid you. Avoid that. You can kill them, them if you want. You don't have to. Now then. Where the hell is he? What you want to do is chase him into the room down there. And you chase him into the room down there. There you go. I think, does he turn up in the room down there now? Aha, he does, okay. Ah, crap. Ah, I messed it up. You're supposed to get him into that corner and attack him. If you get him into the corner and attack him, he essentially, you can get him stuck there. And then you can just beat him down, essentially, in the corner. But it's fine, it's fine. We still got him. See, if you don't do it that way, he, you can chase him into this room like you did in the other room. But he's harder to deal with if you chase him in there, because he gets like both of those people, of course. He gets both of those panikins. Along with that, he also gets a call beyond. You remember the tool we picked up when, before Ebriatus? He also gets that, but his is stronger I'd say yes bring that up for us very nice now then there are a few things we need to do here I need to head down deeper actually because there's an item we need a key there's also a cold blood doer down here I believe I'm hoping that by killing him, it didn't get rid of the items. <laughs> Iron door key. There we go. Okay. So that should be what we need. I do... Do I want to run forward and grab the lamp? I will run forward and grab the lamp, actually, before we head too deep into this. I just need to remember the path to go. I believe it is all the way up we need to go. Yes. Yeah, okay, it is. It is all the way up. So this should be... There we go. Okay, lamp over here. So the Mensis fight. As I showed, it's pretty easy. Mensis is more annoying than difficult. As you can see there, he's... he doesn't even have to be annoying. You can deal with him rather um, quickly. Do I want to drop down there? No, that just leads me to the wrong place. But uh, you can get him stuck, like I showed there. If you get him in the corner before he exits the room, you just need to roll forward or dash forward and um, do a plunging attack on him before he leaves. And basically get him stuck in place. And then if you have enough stamina and, in a, and a big enough weapon, you can get him stuck in the corner before he enters that uh, corridor. That is the easiest, quickest, and best way to deal with Mensis. And less annoying way to deal with Mensis. Because he is one annoying ass boss. Uh, here we go. This is why we need the iron key. Now this is of course all optional. You can just run to the end of the level essentially after the Mensis fight. Uh, go face the final boss really. But I of course don't just want to do that. I have other things in mind. Since we're closer to the thing, uh, Frenzy is building up far, far faster. Damp Bloodstone Gem. Stop it with the goddamn light! Oh yeah, <laughs> I was being all cocky because I had so many sedatives. I forgot he actually does damage as well. That is the brain of Mensis. As you can see, very beautiful thing. Very um, gigantic thing, full of eyes. 
Ah, the brain offends us. It's fine. The brain is actually why we needed the gesture. The make contact gesture, because we're going to be using said gesture. We can't use the freaking mirrors like he did. So we're going to be using the make contact gesture with that thing. Not yet, though. It's currently too dangerous to use yet. We well, have to do something to do it first. It may sound mean, considering it's a, just a brain. But it has eyes. It can see what it's doing. It knows it's hurting us. It doesn't care. So don't feel bad for the brain. It's fine. Now then, once we deal with the brain, how I'm going to show we're going to deal with the brain, we should be able to get through the rest of this area in one episode, I'm pretty sure. Like I said before, Nightmare Immense is not large, just intricate. It should just be a matter of running through the area, essentially. There shouldn't be anything too significant that I have to deal with. Nothing that's going to be too much of a concern anyway. Is there an item around here? I there's an item, which makes this kind of... No, there isn't. Oh no, I need to drop down there. That's where I need to go. Oh no! No, 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 no. No, no, no. Yeah, Frenzy built up fast. But anyway, that's everything we need, so I can just run past there and get up there. So the brain of Mensis, I'm not entirely sure what it is. I'm not sure if it's Mensis's brain himself. Like, that was his body and his brain is there. He didn't seem to talk when, like, uh, when he was uh, in the cutscene with his body. He didn't seem to talk like he was talking from somewhere else or thinking to us, like, telepathically from somewhere else. He seemed, well, insane, which makes sense. If that is his brain, it's no longer in his body, of course he's going to be insane. But his brain has eyes. They place a big emphasis on this, essentially everywhere in the game. You need more eyes for more insight. You need to see more. But it's more of a spiritual thing than a physical thing. Which I think is where a lot of the people go wrong. They believe you need physical eyes. But it's more, I don't know, not, not spiritual, but more you need to be able to see differently. You need more insight rather than more physical eyes. You need to see beyond what you should be capable of seeing. God damn it, where the hell am I there you are? Okay, this is building up a lot faster than I expected. Um, run! Run! Take another one. Keep running. Get out of this thing's sight lines. All right. Okay. Why am I still getting built frenzy on? What the hell is happening? Why is it? I hate when it does that. I don't know why the frenzy was still building. I was. Oh, that's why the frenzy is still building. Winter Lantern. I knew there was winter lanterns in the area, I just didn't know exactly where they were. Crap, okay, winter lantern, that is a concern for me. I don't believe there's anything down here we need to drop to. Down there is just the spider area. Crap. The pressure I've mentioned before, avoid that grab, otherwise you probably will die. Please, come on. She's dead. Don't frenzy me again. Don't do it. Choir bell. That is another item. I believe you summon spirits or wraiths. Let me just try that. Just for your convenience. Vigorate Orkov Prod is healing them. No, it is not. This one's a spirit one. Uh, crap. Where in the hell? Oh, yeah, no. It's a different uh, thing I'm thinking of. Never mind. 
All right, so yeah, that's where we just need for that. We can't actually deal with the Mensa's brain from here. I forgot where he was, but I remember now. Oh crap, I have to run across there with no sedatives. Why is this damaging me? Um, let me let my frenzy go down a bit <laughs> first, because that's going to be difficult to deal with, to say the very least. Brendan, I still think I might still be inflicted with frenzy at the end of this. Which will be a slight concern. Granted, it will probably be a major concern if it's also damaging me at the same time. Because if it gets both of them off, I might die. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're out of the direct eyesight, so it's building up slower. And I'm not taking damage. There we go. Alright, so that's that area dealt with. We shouldn't have to worry about the brain anymore. Well, we shouldn't have to worry about it damaging us anymore with Frenzy. We will have to go grab it, of course, since we still need it for something. But as far as hurting us is concerned, we should be fine there. Ow. First time he actually got me, and I'm not even there. So rude of you. Alright, now then. Let's essentially go finish this area off. It's pretty much finishing the area off. I mean, there's not much else to do. Granted, the top of the building is... Nah, it's not long. It's just a circle. Nothing over there, I don't think. I will say, this area is probably one of the most active as far as PvP goes. It's a really good area for PvP, honestly. If you want to do it, I recommend doing it here, of all places, if you can. Here we go. Yes, yeah, so if you want to do PvP, definitely do it here. If you don't want to do PvP, be wary of getting invaded. I went too early. Be wary of getting invaded. It's more than likely going to happen here if it's going to happen anywhere in the game. That was awful. Let's try that again. I forgot how early this is actually. The upper area is much shorter than I remembered it being. Thank you. Oh, you restart up here. That's lovely. I didn't want to have to freaking draw you back up. Ah, crap, really? Okay. Do I just walk out? I think I just can. I think I can just walk out onto it. No, no. I I think I definitely remember. I've always rolled. Think. Do I need to roll? I'm going too early either way, so I need to calm it down. I'm hoping the thing is still back up there. I think if you die before it gets to the bottom, it stays up there. Maybe, based on the fact that it stayed up there both times. Aha! Don't worry about the whole baby crying. That's something else we have to deal with later. Alright, alright, alright. Aha! There we go. Okay. Now then, we have to be kind of cautious here. There are tricky enemies to deal with. What is that? Is that an infected lung? It is an inflicted lung. Not infected, but inflicted. Inflicted with what, I wonder? These are the enemies we have to deal with in this area. I'm gonna kill them just because you can, like, go around them, as you saw there. There's an area to go around them. If you do that, though, it means they're still there and they're still inflicting frenzy on you. And then you have to deal with frenzy. And I'm pretty sure there's more than one. So, <laughs> it's best to deal with them and just get them out of the way. Oh no, I think there, there may only be one of them. Never mind, I may have just been lying. Well, not lying, I'm just incorrect. 
I wasn't purposefully lying, saying there was more than there isn't. Oh no, there is multiple. And why did I heal there? As if that cured my frenzy. Let me get inflicted with... Ah, uh, why did you stop just before I go inflicted with it? Come on, inflict me with frenzy so I can heal it. There we go. Come on, do the grab, do the grab, do the grab, do the grab, do the grab. You're not supposed to hit me with the grab. Oh crap, I'm gonna die. I'm go I'll be, um. I'll be right back. Okay, so I killed both of them. Got them dead. Well, I didn't. Yeah, I say both. There's three of them, of course, which you saw, but I only killed two of them. I just ran past, uh, past the first one. For some reason, these things all have Patch's face on them. I don't know why. I guess they just. It's supposed to symbolize they're stronger than the typical ones, even though they're not really stronger. They still just take four hits and three almost kills them. Maybe they just have better insight? I don't know, they're spiders. I don't look too deeply into it. Either way, this is what we came here for. Yes, yeah, can drop down there. Oh, do I want to drop down there though? In fact, yes, I do want to drop down there, because that'll be a quick way to get to what we need to. Brain Immense is going for a ride. Let me get you on. Yep, yeah, Winter Lantern. I thought you'd be here. Oh no, you're on the other side. Okay, awesome. I thought they'd be on the side I was on. <laughs> that is a <laughs> welcome little experience. Now then, drop down here. Get you. Grab me my Blood Rock. The only one in the main game they can get. So essentially, if you better make sure you know what you're going to upgrade. Because that is the only one you can get in the main game. I'm not sure if you can get one. I think you can get one in the DLC. But the uh, the, the better chance you're going to have of finding one is going to be in the insight. So basically, you just need a lot of insight. If you have a lot of insight, if you had 60 insight, you can purchase a blood rock from the insight messengers. All right, let's go. I hate this area. I I absolutely hate it. Like the complete abyss, complete darkness. I abhor everything about this area. Ooh, that was terrifying. Okay. Okay. Um, make contact. God, is this thing terrifying down here. So I think you need to stand there for about 30-ish seconds. And it's just so bad. I hate this area so much. Because it's dark, it's it's basically the abyss. Well, it looks like it anyway of Dark Souls uh, One. I kept I kind of like the abyss because you know you can see the kings from all the way. If they're like five feet away from you or thirty feet, you can see them no matter what. This thing you have to be in its face until you can see it, and I hate that. Moon rune, thank you. Now you can die. 
Why does this thing have arms? Why do you have arms? You're just supposed to be a brain. You don't need arms. Uh, yeah, so just kill this thing. It gives you a ritual material, which is something I need to head deep into the chalices, actually. Which is why I couldn't do any more of the chalices until now. Because I, of course, couldn't do Nightmare Mensis until now. You don't have to worry about this thing. It doesn't attack back. It just kind of sits there and... It has to take it, essentially. Sounds bad, but it's kind of the truth. Can't do much. It, it has arms, but... The best they can do is... That. They don't do much. So you have to just sit here and abuse this thing. Feels bad. It has about... What's that? 9,000 health? Ah... Uh. Alright, let's go. Let's get out. I'm pretty sure if you have... No, it's in Dark Souls 1. If you can see the floor, like you bring a torch or something, you can see in Dark Souls 1 the abyss is just like a cobblestone floor. Whew, okay. So I think I'm going to end things there. Next episode, we're probably going to be doing the final boss of Nightmare Mentis and also the Dumerian Queen. Because I'm probably going to advance further into my... Yeah, very nice. Yeah, I'm probably going to advance further in the Chalice Dungeons so I can get to the Thumerian Queen. Oh no, it's not even in there yet. I guess you have to kill the enemy at the end before you can do it. But now you can purchase a Living String. Okay, Living String... Got. I need red jelly and arcane haze, so I'm gonna have to look at where to get those. Okay, so I'm going to end things there. Um, like, subscribe, comment if you enjoyed oh, yourself, was... if you have having fun. Very well, then. Whew, that was fun. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna end things there. Hope you all have a good day and well, goodbye. Good